This, as you can see, is the HM2000. I've just got the trap back up. I've got a double set up now. And just getting the controller out, we'll have a look um, as as we unbox it again. It's one of those ones, um, again, with the HM2000 where you can... Well, it says additional for two more if you want to have four trains going. Two more of those um, single units, of course. That's the plug. Put um, put it right there. I couldn't. Um, I couldn't really get. I couldn't really get this back in where it where it was when I first got this about a year ago. So I just leave it in this bag, and when it's sod in the wardrobe, I just put it on top like that. It's, it's safe enough. There we go. Look back with the cables in. Well, and um, wires. Again, one end to go in the truck, one end to go in the back. Output terminals in the back of the controller. We'll have a look at them in a second. There, see that's what it says in. Hammond to Morgan control. Just gonna, as I've said before in a few other my videos, I would definitely recommend one of these controllers if you want. Well, if, um, if you want to get good, decent running out of these trains. Good, good, decent, smooth running. Well, again, um, one thing is um, um, low speed, very low speed running. Um, again, um, not all trains are that are that good at that. Um, well, um, some of mine are. Um, uh, for, for example, I like the Hornby Class 50 in there, Centurion. That was really good at slow running, but some, that's, I'd say, really min Main of the steam ones aren't really that good at um, you know really low speed running. Well, um, you know um, the fine ones to get to a decent speed, but again, um, you know of course what I'm saying is that they're all uh, well, they're all different. They're all they're all different, of course. But um, again, before I got this, I was using the um, again you've seen before the well when I unboxed the city the city freight set a few days ago um those standard train controllers, but I've well I'm so done. Well, I had a few of them done away with most of them. Now I'm using this, which is perfect. Again, that click noise is the power coming on. Right there. Direction switch. It's clever because um, the lights on here, the green lights, um, if that light, if the green light's flickering at all, you know, just flickering on and off like that, it means the power's not getting through and I've... Um, um, that kept happening with with one of my locomotives for some well one of my steam ones for some strange reason. I'll um, go to dismantle that one and and check it out. And the red light, of course, comes on when it's when it's plugged in. I think it's plugged in in the plugged in this spare socket over there. So again, all, all the cables there. Let's just have a look at the back. These are output terminals. These ones which are unmarked, they're for like um point um point motors or something like that, yeah. It's just on there, it's a 300 MA shared. Now the ones I use are the two control ones. Well, it yeah, seems to be a double track, I use both um um one and two. They say controlled 550 MA DC and these are and these other ones, three and four are un uncontrolled eight. That one's uncontrolled AC and uncontrolled DC. It's, it's pretty clever um, how it works. Again, that's where you put uh, that part you just see in there. That slots into there. And these um, these parts, just get one of the cables out a second. I'll... These bits go, these two bits slot into the power clip. You know, you just slot, you slot them in like there. The, these dead easy to get in, however, it's a bit of a different story with um, these parts. What you can just see right here, these um, 
go, um, go into those bits there, you lift up the these parts lift up like that. It's a fiddly job. It's not it's not really easy. Well they're pretty easy to lift up, it's just um getting them fully in. Like that's um still a bit fiddly, but once they're in they're in and um and and once well you've you've got you know once you've got a locomotive on the track um it's plugged in the, then then the train's ready for the off okay let's get this plugged in and get the trains going <laughs> 